Want an easy way to feel better, transmute negative energy, and reach your goals? Stick around and let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If you're new here, my name is Veronica and it's nice to meet you. I teach people about practical spirituality and intentional living and help you to navigate your spiritual awakening. So if this is something that interests you, hit that subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. Today we're talking about tapping, also known as EFT or emotional freedom technique. Do you know what that is? Have you tried it? I learned about tapping many, many years ago and I tried it with my daughter and she had great success with it. She had really good results, but I hadn't used it too much for myself until recently, like the last year or two. I follow Gala Darling and Brad Yates on YouTube, and I will link to them below if you don't know who they are. But since I started doing tapping with them, I've seen some pretty good results. So I thought that this is something that I would dive into and share with you guys. But before we get started, you guys... We are only a few people away from hitting 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I'm so blessed and excited. You guys make my day. And you don't just make my day. You've made my whole last year. In the last little more than a year, I've gotten to know so many of you guys. And you send me sweet little messages and interesting links you think I'll like, and we learn and we grow together. So just know that if you send me a message, whichever way you send it, I get it. I read every single one of them and I respond to most of them. I've spent one-on-one -on -one time with many of you through coaching, and if you're interested in that, feel like uh, you need a little help navigating this, I'll link below to my website so you can go there and check that out if you're interested. But just know that I have watched this quiet little vision that I had tucked inside to teach and to share manifest into something so big and beautiful. And I love where it's gone and I love where it's continuing to go. We are on the path to some really amazing, cool stuff. And I love that you guys are doing it with me. So, thanks guys. <laughs> okay, back to work. If you've never heard of tapping, tapping is where you use your fingertips to tap on certain meridian points or energy centers in your body. You add kinetic energy to those uh, pathways and you bypass other energy. This recalibrates your brain and it distracts the amygdala from its fight or flight response that you get into when you're stressed or you're thinking negative stuff. And it allows your prefrontal cortex to have room to think. Tapping calms you down and it leaves you feeling more peaceful and centered. Research has shown that tapping for an hour decreased cortisol levels by 24%. That's huge. Now, you don't usually tap for an hour, but that's just going to show you that um, it does have a very physical effect on your body. Tapping restores the body's energy balance and helps to transmute any negative energy or stress that you're feeling. You can use it to help transform that negative stuff into positive stuff so that you can manifest different mindsets or effects that you would like to see in your life. Just so you know, I plan to make this a regular part of this channel, so I'll be doing tapping videos on many, many different topics. So if you have a topic or an issue that you would like me to address, please just send me a message or leave a comment below with it. So how do you do it? There are a few different methods floating around out there, and they have just minor variables to them. Pretty much they're all the same, so you just do it, make it your own, and have fun with it. And if you disagree with that and you think one method should be stuck to you like glue, don't come for me in the comments. You do you. Okay, the basic process is this. There are 10 different energy points that are used in tapping. Some other videos you watch, they might use less of them than that. Some might use all 10. I've seen some negate a few of them. Um, it's just up to you. I like to use all 10 of them. I think it feels better. 
Um, that's just my preference. But if you're doing this on your own, feel free to do whatever you want to do. You do you, boo. The 10 points are top of the head, temples, under your eyes, above your cheekbones, under your nose, chin, right under your collarbones, under your arms. You can choose whichever arm you want. There's a spot right here in your arm. For men, it's going to be like with your nipple line. Women, it'll probably be like half right in the middle of your bra strap. And then um, your wrists, you can either use your hands to tap or you can just tap your wrists together. And then your karate chop points. Like if you were going to karate chop something, right there. So, and you can either choose to tap like this or you can just tap them together. Okay, so here's the basic process. You're going to think of a problem, a topic, an issue, something that you would like to address that you would like to see change. A topic that's weighing you down or causing negativity, something like that. And then you're going to start discussing that issue in detail, out loud. You're going to talk about the effect it has on you, the emotions it brings up, the feelings that you have, what you think about it. You want to be specific because you want to get that stuff out of your mind. And you want your brain to know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> As you are discussing this, you're going to tap on each of the energy points like five to ten times. You don't have to count. This isn't a specific thing, but you'll know when it's time to move to the next one. You'll get a rhythm going. So when we do this in a little bit, you're going to tap and you're going to repeat out loud the things that I'm saying with me. And don't worry about feeling silly or looking silly because we're all doing it together. And it's going to help you. It's going to make you feel good. So just dive in and do it. And the reason that you always start with the negative is because the negative is what's causing the energy disruption in your body, right? So we want to address that and get that out. And then as you go, you're going to slowly transition to acknowledging that you love and accept yourself anyways. And then you're going to start bringing in positives to replace the negative. You'll see. And you're going to begin and end each session. I, well, I mean, I, you don't have to. Other people don't always. I prefer to begin and end each session with at least one really deep breath that you take in, you hold at the top, breathe in through your nose, and then you release it out through your mouth, making an audible sound. Like, <sighs> I think that that gives a lot of benefit. And if you do it three times, I think you get the best benefit. And then when we're all done, you're just gonna wanna hydrate. You wanna go hydrate so you can get that energy moving. Ready to give it a try? Okay, here we go. Today we're gonna be tapping on fear and anxiety and negativity related to this quarantine and this whole process we've been going through for the last month or so. You're going to take some deep breaths, hold them at the top, breathe them out. Top of the head. This last month has been rough. <laughs> I felt so many conflicting emotions. It's almost been overwhelming. I have felt fear for my health and my safety. I felt anxiety about my job and my finances. I felt frustration that I can't find the things that I need at the store. I felt lonely and sometimes even a little depressed that I can't go where I want to go. I can't see the people that I love and miss.
I feel angry about what I consider to be the mishandling of this crisis by people in the government and by citizens who don't wear their masks or don't stay at home. I admit that I've judged them. I've felt hurt and betrayed by people around me who use me to vent their frustrations on. Because they're just human and they're trying to figure out how to navigate these emotions too. And it's easy to blow up on the people that you love. I've felt afraid of gaining back all the weight that I've lost because when I feel some of these negative feelings, I turn to food, even if I'm not hungry. I felt sad watching my friends, my family, my coworkers, my community, my world get sick or struggle or get depressed or be afraid. And I felt powerless to do anything about it. I mean, I do what I can, but this has scared the shit out of me. I have felt all of these things at separate times. And sometimes I've felt them all at the same time. I skipped my side, so I'm going to do that next. And sometimes, because I'm an empath, they aren't even my emotions to feel. And yet, I find myself feeling them. At times, this has left me feeling drained and overwhelmed, tired and exhausted, and just wanting to check out and hibernate. And even though I felt all of these heavy, negative emotions, I deeply and unconditionally love and accept myself exactly as I am. We can only do the best that we can do from where we are. None of us have it all figured out. No one. This isn't something that we've ever done before. So many of the things that I have felt have been completely normal human reactions to an abnormal situation. And now that I think about it more, I haven't done too bad. I've done pretty good, all things considered. We all have, actually. Being a human is so hard, even under the best of circumstances. And these have not been the best of circumstances. So maybe I should cut myself a little slack and accept myself more. And maybe I should do that for everyone around me as well. Maybe I should give myself and everyone else the benefit of the doubt. I know that we're doing the best that we can. Show ourselves a little grace. because I love myself. And I love everyone else around me. So maybe I can begin to release some of these heavy negative emotions 
and thoughts. Maybe I can choose joy and lighter thoughts instead. Even if just a little bit. Maybe, maybe I can release all of it. Maybe I can just let it go. Because I know that the universe is always conspiring for our success. I know that I am loved and I am protected. And so is everyone else. Maybe when I start to feel any kind of heavy negative emotion related to this situation, I'm going to choose to remind myself that it's okay to feel those feelings for a minute. Let them pass. Don't get stuck in them. Because everything is always happening for the greater good. And divine timing is perfect. So at the end of the day, I really don't have anything to worry about. Because if this is happening, there's a really good reason for it. And actually, <clears throat> excuse me, actually looking back over the last month, it's kind of flown by. Time has passed pretty quickly. And so I know that this will probably be over before we know it. I'm going to start looking for the positives in every day, even if they're tiny. Because I know that it feels really, really good to do that. I like the way I feel when I'm looking on the bright side and when I'm finding the positives to be grateful for. I'm going to choose to move my body more so that that energy doesn't get stagnant sitting around. I'm going to choose to eat healthier options. Because I like the way my body feels and the way my energy feels when I'm eating in a cleaner way. I'm going to send thoughts of light and love to my planet and to every person who is struggling or sick. Missed one. <laughs> And I am going to be so thankful. And I'm going to live in a space of gratitude for every single day that I wake up healthy and alive. And we're going to get through this. Because we've got this. I'm doing great. All things considered, I'm doing really great. I am thriving, and I will continue to thrive. And so it is. Now take a deep breath through your nose. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.